the deputy president Rigathi Gashagwa led a contingent of government officials in visiting the scene of explosion in Embakasi to assess the damage. Afterwards, he visited survivors who were recuperating to offer support on behalf of the president. I have visited patients and they have all expressed their satisfaction with the medical care and the nursing care that is being accorded to them. The DP condemned the inhumane act of owners of the plant for endangering more lives through running an unlicensed business, tasking the DCI with apprehending him. The DCI has clear instructions from the president to do whatever it takes and to have the culprit apprehended and presented before a court of law with a litany of charges. At the same time, the Ministry of Interior and Coordination, jointly with the Ministry of Energy and Petroleum, have directed that a fresh risk assessment be undertaken for all gas plants in the country with the view of closing all non-compliant sites. In a statement to newsrooms, CSS Kithure Kindiki and Davis Chichir further ordered the demolition of all illegal liquefied petroleum gas sites through the multi-agency rapid results initiative. Elsewhere, Azimio Premier Raila Odinga, while consoling victims of the explosion, has called for the involvement of Parliament in a speedy investigation into the gas plant that was operating illegally. We want a proper investigation to be carried out about these illegal activities which has been carried out in the residential areas where people live, which end up with this kind of losses here. Uh, and we urge in Parliament to get involved with this. Other leaders present in the scene at Embakasi East, including the area MP Babu Wino, are calling for support for the victims. There's still a search going on of uh, whether there are bodies which have been uh, burnt in various houses. And we are asking Kenyans to pray for us. This is a, a time when we are saddened by such an incident. It has never occurred before in Embakasi East. And what we can ask for from Kenyans is to pray for us. This even as the county government led by Nairobi women representative Esther Pasaris led the victims with minor injuries to receive treatment and financial support. So we've already been seen and they had prescriptions and they didn't have the money. So we've managed to get authority from, from GAF to be able to buy that medication for them so that they can actually go home. And we're giving them a stipend, uh, the ones that are here, we're giving them a stipend of 5,000 each so that they can actually, because you see if everything in their houses have been burnt down, they need some interventions. David Kagina, K24 TV, Nairobi.